Yeah. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, where symmetry, uh, R square inflation, sometimes uh, usually it's called Sarovinsky inflation, and also dark matter. So this is the the contents. First, I will uh, give a very brief uh, introduction to inflation, and also a very uh, just a quick review of the evidence for dark matter, and then some uh, uh, a short history of uh, real symmetry. Then I show some uh, uh, some uh, applications of real symmetry inflation, uh, especially the the uh, the R square inflation. So and then I show that uh, in this model there there is a, a natural uh, uh, dark matter candidate, which is the real uh, gauge boson. And then and I discuss uh, the uh, one production mechanism, which is uh, through the uh, gravitational interaction. Uh, then uh, I give a summary. If the, uh, there is uh, some time, then I, I have some backup slides about the uh, conformal R alpha attractor. So Inflation. We we probably uh, most uh, uh, cosmology uh, people working in cosmology and agree that uh, inflation is very is a very attractive solution to many cosmic uh, problem. For example, like a flatness problem, uh, horizon problem, and then inflation provides a very uh, attractive solution to that. Um, and in the in this figure, could you see the uh, uh, the, the mouse? Yes, I can see your mouse. Okay, so uh, on the right hand side, there is a, a, a picture. So the uh, the x, the horizontal x uh, axis is the scale. So if k, k is a wave number, if k is larger, then means small scale. If k is small, then it means large scale. So it's uh, uh, one over, uh, uh, it's an inverse of the uh, uh, lens. So this is the scale. And then the um, vertical axis is the uh, perturbation, the, 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 the amplitude of the perturbation, meta power spectrum or power spectrum. So uh, usually the power spectrum is uh, parameterized and this, uh, and this function. You see K star uh, is a kind of a, a reference scale, usually so, probably around here, reference scale. And then the, uh, the, in, the, in the first uh, approximation, it has this kind of power, power law, and the Nx is called a scalar index. So you see that if Nx is equal to one, then this uh, uh, power spectrum is kind of uh, a constant, so it's, it's flat, but in this picture, this is uh, uh, this picture shows the constraint from uh, observation, like CMB or large scale structure. You see, it's a slight have a, it's not uh, uh, flat. It has a small tilt. So you see that, which means that NS is not equal to one. If NS equals to one, then it's a flat spectrum, which means it's scale invariant. So the the uh, the uh, power spectrum. It's newly scale environment. So, uh, so, so this is just that uh, scale environment or conformal environment or real symmetry is kind of approximate symmetry during inflation. So this is a uh, uh, one kind of motivation why people study this kind of symmetry. But although we know that inflation is kind of a paradigm, uh, its model is not fixed. So we don't know how this uh, uh, symmetry is broken. It also means that uh, uh, we don't know the potential of the, 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 the field that is responsible for the uh, uh, inflation. So, but uh, uh, this can be uh, constrained by the, the current uh, observation. So the the basic the picture is like this uh, that uh, during the inflation there is a, a, a scalar field called inflaton, and it has some kind of potential like this. So in some period, it has the potential is flat. So so the the, the universe is almost scale invariant, 
uh, or just like the theta space. And then, then they have uh, this uh, exponential uh, expanding. And but after some time, then the, the potential gets, uh, uh, um, it's not flat anymore. So the uh, inflaton oscillates around the minima and then uh, transfer its uh, uh, potential energy to, to, to others, other kind of form. So uh, the, the, this picture shows the, 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 the constraint from the uh, Planck data. So you can see the contours. The blue ones are the, probably the most stringent one. Uh, with uh, uh, bicep uh, 2014 data and also BIO, B, uh, BIO data. So the, the, uh, within blue region, then it's still allowed. And uh, for the potential in the, uh, in the all time, when the first, uh, like a uh, simplest one, when the potential is just like uh, uh, five square, which is a simple model, and uh, it's predict uh, some uh, the 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 uh, the spectral index ns uh, which i mentioned in this uh, part ns and also in the uh, vertical axis is the tensor to scale ratio which basically means the how much uh, or the energy scale of the the inflation or the how easily you can uh, uh, detect the gravitational wave signal so if the number is higher, then which means inflation scale is high, and also it's the, uh, the e easier you uh, we measure the uh, gravitational wave, uh, primordial uh, gravitational wave. So you can see that the, the simplest case, phi square, the prediction is here. So it's here, right? So it's already excluded by the, the data. And uh, but if the power is smaller, smaller, then you can see the predictions shift to this re region. So, so basically here means that the power is uh, two thirds. So it's not a kind of uh, uh, in integer. And then it becomes stranger why we have such kind of potential. But for our square inflation, which is the blue ones, you see the uh, two dots. The two dots, uh, this, the big one means the, uh, the inflation number is uh, is 60, which means the inf uh, before inflation ends, the universe uh, expand more. And, uh, and the small ones means uh, E40 number is 50. So it has uncertainty because uh, 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 it depends on the details of the reheating. So uh, usually people brought uh, two, two, two uh, values. So the R square inflation or the Sarobin inflation actually lies in the center of the control. So it's still allowed by the data, but uh, I think probably the, ne the next generation of CMB experiments cannot uh, go to this level, maybe the next to next uh, generation. So, but in future, when the, um, the tensor to ratio uh, Anyway, the, the, the prediction, uh, prediction of R square inflation uh, uh, for R is, is uh, 10 to minus three. So this is a required uh, future experiment to, to, to have a, uh, this kind of sensitivity. Because uh, uh, now the current data only constrained to uh, five times 10 to minus two. So still uh, uh, at least one order of magnitude uh, uh, smaller than the current uh, uh, sensitivity. So uh, nevertheless, we, we probably in the next 10 or 20 years, maybe the, 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 uh, the experiments can test the R square inflation. And then on the other hand, uh, we know that in the universe, we have a, a large amount of dark matter and uh, dark matter, there is no candidates in stand model uh, 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 particle physics, and uh, so we need a, 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 a new field or new particles to be responsible for the this kind of observation, like the uh, kinetic rotation curve and the gravitational lensing, large scale structure, uh, and isotropic of CMB, and also the cl uh, colliding of uh, fluid cluster. But this kind of uh, um, evidence. We know that it's only from the kind of uh, uh, astro astronomy. So basically, it's only uh, gravity 
effects play the role. So we don't know its particle identity. So we don't know whether uh, dark matter is a, a kind of modification uh, for Einstein gravity or, or some uh, modification of particle physics. So this is, uh, we don't know yet. So basically the, the solid evidence is only sure it ha must have a gravitational inhibition. So uh, from the uh, last century, we know that uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, law that uh, symmetry determines the interaction. So uh, we, uh, in this uh, talk, I mentioned that uh, uh, if we, we uh, add uh, wear symmetry to the model, then there is a, a possible dark matter candidate. It also uh, uh, gave some kind of uh, modification to Einstein graph, but uh, uh, nevertheless, it makes some connection uh, to inflation, connect inflation dark matter. And now, just one slide uh, for uh, wear symmetry, the history of wear symmetry. So basically, uh, uh, we have proposed his uh, theory uh, much before the, uh, the, the, the real case, uh, the, the uh, contour, uh, contour mechanics. Uh, and, and he was trying to unify the uh, gravity and uh, electromagnetic interaction or Maxwell equation. So basically, he tried to impose the symmetry of uh, this symmetry to Einstein's uh, gravity. Uh, gravity theory. So if we just rescale the metric, the G mu mu is the metric fields. And uh, <clears throat> and we also introduce the gauge fields. So and the make the gauge fields have such kind of transformation. And uh, it turns out that the Einstein gravity is not uh, environment under this transformation. So 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 in that case the he has to uh, modify the Einstein gravity, but uh, in that, in that in, it's around 1990. So basically at that time, there's no uh, concept of uh, symmetry breaking because if this symmetry is not broken, then um, uh, they, they, they have uh, this kind of second uh, clock problem. And uh, uh, which means that the, the, the time of the clock uh, depends on the the history of its history or the, the uh, movements of its history. So it, this theory was criticized by Einstein. And then, and then after the, the uh, discovery of quantum mechanics, and then the wheel modified, actually there's another, uh, another author called uh, London uh, from UK maybe, uh, also uh, makes such kind of modification. Basically, and this is a, a modification to electron because the electron was, uh, I think it was uh, maybe, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, the, the, this was, uh, uh, we have modified the, the, the symmetry, the rescale, uh, the field to a phase transition. So this precise uh, uh, fermion field. And uh, then, uh, just modify the um, this uh, derivative to this one and the uh, uh, the, the parts with real gauge field. So, in such a case, he uh, proposed that this kind of uh, symmetry can be responsible for the basic interaction of a fermion or some charged particle of scalar. We know that this kind of symmetry is called gauge symmetry, but in the uh, when it was first proposed, it was referring to the rescaling symmetry. So basically, this kind of uh, symmetry describes uh, electron after uh, quantum mechanics, and then the rest is uh, history. And we have uh, the Yamios uh, fields and the QCD, and then also uh, the, the spontaneous symmetry breaking of uh, electric uh, symmetry. So. Uh, let me just uh, add one slide of uh, scale and conform the difference, but th this is just kind of terminology. People usually uh, use this kind of thing interchangeably, but uh, if you want to know more, please uh, read this uh, review paper. So scales invariance usually is, uh, refers to this transformation, just rescale the coordinates. And uh, although we know that uh, 
it cannot be the uh, exact symmetry, but we, uh, in nature, we saw such kind of thing. For example, this, uh, these two pictures, uh, this picture probably is just uh, art, some art diagram, but uh, in the right hand side, there's kind of just some kind of tree. So you see it has some uh, self similarity. Basically, it means that the, this scale lambda is kind of discrete value. So we see such kind of approximate uh, symmetry in nature. But for conformal symmetry, usually it refers to the uh, uh, much uh, bigger uh, symmetry because it has more parameter. Here you only have one, but for conformal you have uh, uh, these four numbers. So it uh, basically means it's a, uh, it's a larger symmetry that it's, the symmetry is larger than scale symmetry. And uh, uh, both will induce the field transformation, just like uh, the uh, if you make the Lorentz transformation on the coordinates, you can also introduce the transformation of the uh, quantum fields. But for real symmetry, there is a, a different uh, a difference uh, because it only refers to the uh, fields, not the coordinates. So basically, it's only the fields is transformed, not the coordinates. So, but most people use uh, them uh, interchangeable because in most cases the uh, the theory has the same form. So uh, if you have a scale invariance, most likely you also have a real uh, symmetry. So vice versa. So, so in this talk, I, I just use conformal wheel scale scanning uh, and the same footing. So there's no difference in my talk. So if you see, if you heard that conformal wheel and scale scanning, then means the same thing. So uh, this wheel symmetry has a wide, uh, application in physics uh, or mathematical physics because we know that uh, string theory is kind of two-dimensional conformal field theory. And also, uh, uh, there's a, a, a study on conformal gravity. And conformal gravity means the action is uh, determined by this uh, wheel tensor. So it has this kind of form. But this has a high order uh, uh, derivatives, so usually it has unitarity and instability because if you introduce more derivatives, uh, usually means you have a, a more degree of freedom and uh, some of them may not be uh, stable uh, or ghost. So that's why they can cause instability. Uh, people also use this symmetry to implement that there are some gauge theory of gravity. If you are interested, you may uh, look at these two paper and uh, the references. Also in particle physics, people try to use the conformal symmetry to, uh, to, to solve the hierarchy problem. For example, uh, Chris Cole also did some work on this uh, 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 part. So they, they used this uh, scale invariance to uh, induce some scale, and then that scale introduced uh, the, the Higgs mass. So there is the right uh, uh, application of the symmetry in uh, physics. So so let me uh, uh, go to the next part and, and the R square inflation. Um, probably you already heard a lot of uh, 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 about this uh, model. So I just uh, give a quick review of what R inflation is. So in the Einstein gravity, we know that usually we, we, we know that uh, the, the <clears throat> uh, Einstein flows get this uh, Einstein equation. But uh, actually, the first action is uh, first get by Hilbert. But uh, nowadays, people usually call it uh, Einstein Hilbert action. We know that if you have action, then you can get the, the, uh, the equation. And so in, in, in Einstein gravity, is just uh, 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 R. And here, I, I also write the uh, cosmology constants, but uh, in most of parts of my talk, the lambda is not uh, uh, relevant. But here, I just uh, for completeness, I just add the cosmic constant. That can be responsible for the dark energy. Also, I use the, uh, the natural natural units, so which means I put Planck square equals one. So, so that's why sometimes I write action like this. I just omit the the Planck scale and put it equals one. 
So uh, also there are some terminology I, I need to mention that so people usually uh, uh, talk about Einstein frame and the Jordan frame. So here is just a simple uh, uh, example. What is Einstein frame? So in Einstein frame, the the factor before the uh, uh, in front of the Ricci scalar is just one over two. So there is no other scalar here. So that's we call the Einstein frame. And then for other scalars, uh, then it's, uh, uh, it can be anything. So, so basically, they, they could have such kind of kinetic term, but uh, the factor is not equals to one, maybe some function of a scalar. Also, probably has uh, other kind of uh, potential. For Jordan frame, then the factor in front of a rich scalar could be a function of some scalar. Or if you have many scalars, then it could be a, a function for multiple scalars. Uh, also, it has uh, it may, may or not have a cano uh, canonic kinetic term, so which means the f phi may be not equal to one, or some it can be uh, any function of phi. So, but this f f does not have to be the same. It may uh, it can be any form. So yeah, just to be sure that. Uh, Einstein frame is referred to the theory where the factor of R is equal to one over two, but in Jordan frame, and then factor can be a function of uh, scanners. So that's uh, the uh, two terminologies. So, uh, but uh, from Jordan frame, such kind of action, we can make uh, some transformation and redefine the metric field. For example, uh, when uh, 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 this transformation is called conformal transformation. So the conformal transformation is just redefining of the metric field by rescaling. Uh, probably you can uh, read the, uh, this uh, equation. Just uh, transform the uh, g mu mu to uh, g mu mu bar and uh, rescale by any function. And in this case, uh, this uh, function i phi, then we can calculate the uh, the 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 rich scalar is connected by the uh, rich scalar bar. Rich scalar bar is totally determined by the uh, uh, metric bar here. So they have uh, some connection. And uh, if we make this uh, conformal factor, I phi function equals to this part, the factor uh, before rich scalar, then we can transform the Lagrangian in Jordan frame to Einstein frame. So, uh, in this case, the, uh, the physics is uh, determined by the uh, fields with a bar. So, so uh, this is uh, a called uh, this conformal transformation. So if we have a, a Lagrangian in Jordan frame and the uh, scalar and the R is uh, non-member coupled, so here means the phi is coupled to which scalar, then we can make conformal transformation to Einstein frame, where the uh, the phi and the r they have uh, no coupling, but only through the metric. So, so this is the uh, uh, useful transformation that can uh, very uh, simplify the uh, calculation uh, a lot. Uh, by the way, if you have uh, any questions, probably you can stop me. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, so Okay, so now uh, about uh, Sorotinsky inflation, uh, R square graph. Actually, it was uh, first proposed by Sorotinsky in this paper and around uh, 1980. And he proposed this model to try to avoid the signality problem because we know in standard Big Bang theory, when we uh, just go back to uh, the time, we go to the very early stage of the universe, and the density, uh, energy density will uh, diverge, become inf infinite. So uh, that we, uh, was called a signality problem. But if we, uh, we have a R square uh, term, then we, we can, when we go uh, uh, to the, the, the beginning of the universe, uh, they, it's not, uh, the, um, it's, it become a decita space. But decita, the, uh, the energy density can be constant. So there is no, the, the physical quantity are all finite. So there is no singularity problem. So Sarovinsky find this model can solve singularity problem. 
And he found that in this model, they have a de theta uh, phase. So we know that uh, uh, now it, it become the kind of uh, a benchmark model for inflation. Although uh, inflation was proposed by uh, Anand Gus to solve the other uh, uh, flatness and the uh, origin problem. So, but uh, actually this model had solved the similarity problem. Uh, Anyway, so um, uh, this model uh, it was not first studied actually much before this uh, or, or two years ago. Uh, Stella studied a general action with R mu mu, R mu mu, some other high yield term. So he found that uh, such kind of model contains a uh, multiple freedom, and uh, some of them are not healthy. So it to the unitarity and the instability, but uh, th this uh, this paper is uh, actually uh, uh, discuss very general uh, combinations, and uh, but uh, this uh, second paper just four years after Sarobinsky's paper studied and uh, rewrite the Sarobinsky model into this kind of form. So you see that probably you see that th there's a kind of big difference. Because in this part, you have an R square term, but in this model, you don't have R square term because uh, uh, they also introduced a, 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 a scalar field, chi. Uh, chi is an auxiliary, uh, auxiliary scalar field. You can see that uh, if you use the equation of motion for the chi, then R square, the chi square is equal to R. So if you put this uh, equation of motion into the Lagrangian, then you get the same action in star roping inflation. So that's uh, we call that's why we see they are equivalent because uh, 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 after you use the equation of motion, the Lagrangian is the same. So now you see that uh, the chi we have a new scale of chi, and then but this chi has no kinetic term, only a potential, and then no minimal company. So chi square i is kind of no minimum company. And this is the, uh, the, the, the Jordan frame, as I mentioned. You see here, in, this is the Lagrangian for general uh, 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 Jordan frame. So, so which means F phi here is equal to zero because we don't have uh, the kinetic term. And also the G phi, the function is one plus alpha over three chi square. So as I did just uh, one step before, we can make conform a transformation to Einstein frame. But uh, and this is how we uh, we can uh, uh, just make conform a transformation of the metric, and then we get the uh, Einstein uh, Einstein frame And in this case, we have a, a we have a, a the kinetic kinetic term scalar. So that's why we we say. The Stratropinski model is equivalent to Einstein gravity plus some scalar fields. And this scalar fields may have a, uh, no canonic character. Okay, and if we uh, write uh, ex explicitly, then we can have uh, uh, this kind of form. So basically the scalar fields uh, is connected to the, uh, the, the original field, chi. Sigma has this kind of potential, which is a kind of exponential potential. And then, uh, yeah, probably uh, you will see this potential several times in this talk. So basically, so a Robinsky inflation is equivalent to uh, uh, Einstein gravity plus a new scalar, and the potential for the scalar is this kind of form. Also, uh, the shape of the potential is something like this. So uh, in the large field value, when the sigma is very large, like uh, much larger than Planck scale, then this factor equals to uh, a zero. So basically it's a flat regime. After sigma uh, roll down to the minima around zero, then this is uh, equal to one and the whole potential equals to zero. So basically, the inflation happens around this flat region, and then uh, uh, inflation oscillates around the minima, and, and the energy is transported to the other fields. 
so a uh, code reheating. So uh, we can calculate these uh, these uh, uh, physical values from, uh, for example, the the spec index and also the okay we have a type here also the uh, tensor to scalar ratio. So uh, and the n is the evolving number, uh, which means how much how much uh, the universe uh, expanded before the 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 uh, uh, inflation ends. Uh, I mean the uh, observable observable universe how the how much the observable universe has expanded before inflation ends uh, is uh, described by this n so n we, if n is large we call the e4d number is larger so basically the prediction of the slot robbing model is here the square means n equals to 50 and the uh, circle means the uh, n is equal to 60 so the the big controls is the currents uh, around the regime by by uh, Planck and other experiments. And this uh, red, the smaller red dashed control is the probably the next generation experiment. The sensitivity of the next generation uh, experiment. So you see, probably the most recent, uh, the most uh, uh, possible next generation uh, experiment cannot. Uh, detect this kind of signal, and uh, yeah, so that that's the uh, uh, the introduction of uh, Salobinks inflation. And the Salobinks inflation, there are two terms, and uh, uh, we we, uh, we, saw, we see R square and the R. So, uh, so if if this term is uh, absent. Then we have a R square only, and actually we have a global uh, scaling symmetry, which means if we just rescale the the, the metric with constant, then the Lagrangian is uh, this have the same form. So so th this is a kind of a, a accidental. So because uh, as long as its uh, dimension is four, then it has this kind of uh, symmetry. Um, but the, but this R term uh, violate this symmetry. So this, which means in, in this uh, sorotic inflation, the uh, global scaling symmetry is broken by the Einstein Gilbert action. But in, in particle physics, usually uh, people prefer uh, local symmetry. For example, uh, uh, gauge symmetry is local symmetry. So, but this Lagrangian does not have. So what if we, uh, uh, promote the symmetry into global uh, into local symmetries, which means we just rescale the uh, the metric fields with some uh, uh, function of the uh, of the uh, space dependent function. In such case, we we need to introduce the corresponding gauge field to compensate the compensate the, the transformation to make a uh, covariance Lagrangian. So that's a, a kind of motivation. So, so what if we promote the symmetry into local one or gauge symmetry? So what can we have? What can we get? So, uh, so that's how uh, we, we, we just uh, 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 do the exercise. So in the Ricci tensor, uh, in the uh, Riemann tensor or Ricci scale or Ricci tensor, any, any Kind of saying you have this derivative of metric metric fields. So if we promote the uh, uh, partial derivative into covariance uh, derivatives, then we should introduce uh, uh, gauge fields. So this factor two is because here we we we, uh, we have this kind of factor two. So in general, if uh, some other scalar fields. Uh, has a, a different uh, a transformation law, then the, uh, we have uh, this kind of covariance uh, uh, derivatives. The Q means uh, uh, kind of a charge under this uh, scaling transformation or real transformation. For, for usual scalar, Q is uh, equal to minus one. Then we have uh, this kind of modified connection. The connection is, uh, is determined by the, by the uh, uh, Reach by the metric fields, but if we convert uh, the uh, partial derivative into uh, covariant derivative, then we have additional terms. So basically, we have the modified 
connection. If we have uh, the multiplier connection, then we have modified the Ricci tensor and uh, scalar. So because it's, determined, it's defined by the, uh, uh, by the uh, by this formula. So here you see that uh, in this part, they have ordinary, uh, uh, ordinary uh, derivatives because the connection, the modified connection is invariant under this transformation. So here, uh, which means the, the Q for the uh, modified connection is equal to zero. So basically here we don't need to modify. So in such a case, we get a modified Ricci tensor and the Ricci uh, Neiman tensor, Ricci tensor and the Ricci scalar. So, so uh, and, and it depends on the real gauge fields. Let's just uh, do a, a simple exercise. So first, just consider the, the, the R, uh, the linear term. The linear term is that uh, we, uh, we just add a new scalar coupled to a real uh, scalar, real Neiman scalar, and then add the current connect, kinetic term of scalar, and then have uh, this uh, 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 gauge uh, field strength and their potential. So that's the simple case, very simple case. Here, zeta, I put the uh, parameter here because usually people just consider zeta equals to one, but uh, and actually zeta can be negative. It's, uh, it's not a problem because uh, when we make a transformation, there are some other parts from this term have uh, this same contribution to this one, as I will show you. So this Lagrangian is uh, invariant under scaling transformation. For example, if we scale the metric with F square and uh, uh, rescale the scalar with F minus one, and then make gauge transformation of the real gauge field. So under this transformation, we see the uh, modified connection is invariant, the modified Neiman tensor is invariant, and the, the current, uh, current derivative is rescaled by F. So, but use this kind of thing, if we can check this Lagrange is invariant under the scanning transformation. So actually for the, uh, for the real R gravity or R uh, scalar, we can write it in a familiar form because uh, we can just uh, by simple calculation, maybe some tedious. So the um, real Ricci scalar is connected with the usual Ricci scalar plus some other term. This quadratic term on which uh, uh, real gauge field and also a der derivative term. But this derivative can be written as a surface term. So if we integrate the action, then the surface term just vanish. So we, we can neglect this term. So in the end, we can rewrite the phi square r hat, so the first term into three terms. So three terms, the first one is the usual uh, 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 covariant, covariant term. People usually call this uh, conformal, uh, inter conformal coupled scale of uh, theory. But there is a, a second term, uh, a third term, you see that here is, you have a six. You see, uh, if this first term you have a six, then which means zeta can be negative as long as it's larger than minus six, then you have a, have a uh, positive uh, kinetic term. So that's why I uh, keep uh, zeta here because zeta can be negative in, in this level. So this theory, if the, uh, if the gauge field, the real gauge field is absent, then this just, or if the, the mass, the ma here you have a mass actually for the uh, gauge field. If the mass is very heavy, then it's basically decoupled, and then we get the, uh, the Lagrangian and the conformal invariant scale field. So, so this is the, uh, the usual uh, one people consider. Hello, I have a question. Okay. Mm, in the previous slide. Yes. I uh, hear. Uh, so you show the R hat is equal to R plus six times W mu W mu plus the etc. Yes. And the W mu W mu itself is a not gauge invariant. 
Right. So the gauge dependence of W mu W mu is cancelled by uh, W uh, uh, gauge dependence in R. Yeah, actually from here, because mm. here you have to multiply by phi square. Square. Uh. So once you multiply square, you see then phi square R hands is mm. by three terms, yes. and uh, these two is basically independent of independent. Uh, of uh, W field. Okay. So this two is uh, getting invariant. But this one, mm. also with this one itself is getting invariant. So, so in total, they are getting invariant. Mm. Yeah, so if you write in this form, because R hat is not getting invariant, mm -hmm. that's why we need to introduce a scalar to compensate. So, mm. yeah. Mm, okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. So the mass term of phi is forbidden in this theory, right? Yeah. Yes. And this level is forbidden because uh, it breaks the uh, what, symmetry. What did they say? Sorry. What did they say? The, the mass term of phi. The mass term. The mass term is m square phi square. M is constant, and the phi square mm -hmm. has a dimension two, so it's break the symmetry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we only we can only have a dimension four operators. Okay, then, yeah. So uh, because this is uh, uh, because we have this kind of symmetry, and we can choose f uh, freely. If it's any function, positive uh, as long as it's uh, positive, and then we can we don't need to transform make conformal transformation to Einstein value. We can just set the f equals to five. f equals to five, which means f five squared equals to one. Then this theory just becomes Einstein gravity plus uh, a massive uh, real gauge field. So in the beginning, we have a, uh, we have a, a one scale degree of freedom, two, uh, two uh, polarization of uh, uh, vectors, then three, uh, degree of freedom, and the end we also have a, a, a massive a vector which is also three degree of freedom. So basically, the degree of freedom is the same. Then nothing, uh, 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 all information is skipped. Basically, the bit degree of freedom is the same. But uh, in at this part, you see that uh, W has a discrete symmetry. It's a Z two symmetry, because if you look at this level, you, you probably cannot see uh, clearly because you have a linear term here. But once put in this form, then you have a discrete symmetry, and then it becomes stable. Uh, also, one thing I have to point out is here that th uh, there is no i factor i here, so that's why it's different from the usual gauge theory. And then also the reason why it cannot cover the formula because the formula part you have a. a, 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 a the, you have a, a Hermitian conjugate, which is just canceled. So basically, W here has a Z2 symmetry and it's stable. So that's why we, uh, we study it may be a dark matter candidate. However, in this model, you see you don't have a scalar anymore, so you don't have inflation. So basically, in this minimum model, we, the, the, there is no way to uh, uh, have inflation, although you could have a, a cosmological constant, but uh, uh, it cannot uh, get out from the accelerates uh, expanding. So we need uh, uh, to mod uh, modify this model. So that's why we uh, study uh, R square term. So by very simple, just an R square term in this model. So this is uh, also similar to the uh, the Starobinsky uh, motivation. You just add the uh, Rolly's outer term then can be uh, that respect to the symmetry. So, it, because uh, we we uh, we know R hat is not scaling event, but R hat square is uh, scaling event. So this term itself is has this uh, symmetry. So the the whole Lagrangian is invariant under the the uh, the real symmetry. I have to mention that. Uh, 
A similar models uh, has already considered by uh, these two uh, uh, groups, but uh, they uh, but there are some different. One is that they use lambda here. Actually, in my model, I, uh, for inflation, I don't need lambda, even lambda equals zero. Another one is that uh, the zeta here can be a negative, as I mentioned before, and also. Uh, uh, I, I studied that the, the, uh, the gauge boson in this model can be a dark matter. So, so the, there are uh, several differences. So again, we can introduce uh, uh, some uh, auxiliary fields, chi. So to rewrite uh, this R square term into linear term. So you can see that we have a chi square times R hat, and then there is a, a, a potential for chi. So this is uh, similar to the Sarobin's model, and the, the other part is the same. Then the equivalence of this Lagrangian uh, can be shown with the uh, equation of motion for chi square. So you just put the equation of motion into this Lagrangian, then you get the, this one. So it's the same. Again, we still have the, the uh, uh, scanning variance, so we can fix the f function like this one here to be this part because we want to have an Einstein frame. So we just put this factor. Uh, the factor before the uh, which is scale in equals one, and then we can have this uh, Lagrangian. Remember the r hands is equal to uh, this one, so you see you have additional terms. So that's why we have uh, this uh, mass term for uh, uh, w uh, boson, and then we still have uh, the, this part because we fix this. Uh, frame so chi square is a function of phi, another scalar. Then the potential chi four is equal to this one, so one minus phi square and square. So uh, this is the potential, the term we will use for the inflation. This term, so even lambda equals to one. Although uh, you can use no zero lambda for uh, just make a combination of these two to have inflation, but even lambda is close to zero, we can still have inflation. So, so now we start from this Lagrangian. We have a Einstein Hilbert action, a scalar, and a massive uh, real gauge field. So that's the and the, the the potential for the scalar is given by this form. So at this level, it's look uh, very normal. But uh, there is uh, uh, some uh, details because the the covariant uh, kinetic term. Hello, hello. Kinetic... I have one question. Yeah. Yes. So, um, does this uh, this interaction uh, uh, respect the skill invariance? Because you add a chi. I don't know what the chi changes. Chi is, is a uh, yeah. So good question. So chi here is a kind of usual scalar. So chi also lists here like a phi, just like this one. So at this level, this Lagrangian is still scaling environment. You can see all, all terms are, are have all terms, all operators are dimension four. So so at this at this stage, we still have the the the, the scaling symmetry, the local symmetry. So that's why we can can use this uh, 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 this uh, function to fix the uh, uh, this value. Okay, thanks. Okay, so yeah, because uh, uh, there is uh, some details here, and uh, actually in in, in my uh, <clears throat> in, uh, when I first. Uh, 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 Look at this term. I didn't uh, do this uh, and this uh, uh, same procedure, but uh, after after uh, um, close look at this term, I actually can combine these uh, two terms into uh, a more convenient uh, form. You can see here you you will have three three uh, um, three terms. You just just uh, um, expand. You have a uh, two derivatives and the one de derivative. And times uh, gauge field, and then uh, scalar square plus uh, plus the gauge field square. So that's three term, and you, you just combine the 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 uh, the quadratic term 
then you can have a six plus uh, zeta phi square. Can this have from? And then you can write the, the, the this just the first derivative and this type of form. And then you have this usual kinetic term. But from this one, you can make the transformation actually. You, you just uh, pull out the, form, the, the common factor and then you see that the, you can, you, uh, we can make con, uh, this, uh, uh, this gate transformation to cancel this uh, first derivative term. So in the end, we only have the, the uh, quadratic room of the uh, gate field bar, this uh, W bar. So, and then you have a, a additional additional uh, uh, connectum from from two from this one square. And when you combine with this one, then you get this uh, 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 connectum. So it's not canonical; it's a function of phi. So in the end, we have uh, this uh, kind of Lagrangian. We have a uh, uh, einstein helped action, the uh, connectum of gauge fields. And it's mass term, but it's mass term has a, a field dependence and depends on phi. Uh, if you if phi is evolving, then you can see it's kind of a, a, a interacting term. Or if it's fixed, then it's just a mass term. And then this uh, strange uh, connection of uh, scalar and then potential. So we need to normalize this uh, part. For normalize, we just define a new scalar. Uh, fields uh, sigma, and then then just by absorb this factor, then we can normalize the scalar uh, the, the the scalar fields, and depends on the the sign of the zeta, and I already mentioned the zeta can be negative and positive, so the 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 solution is different. So the, here is a solution of a, of kind of hyperbolic function. It's not the uh, Trigonal metric, but it's a hyperbolic function. Hyperbolic function has uh, some kind of uh, uh, different uh, different uh, quantities, like a cosine h square minus sine uh, h square equals one. So unlike uh, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so we have two solutions, and then we can just rewrite the Lagrange uh, and this. So basically, at this moment. It's a uh, einstein hebel action um, or massive gauge fields and they are normalized uh, uh, or canonic scale fields and the potential is like this. So now I show this potential can provide inflation. So now I just show for zeta larger than zero, we choose this one, so this solution. If uh, zeta is minus one, we can, we can redefine the scale of fields because here, uh, we can read, uh, redefine the alpha and zeta to put into the same form as the uh, positive one. So I, for illustration, I only show uh, the, uh, the positive case. Then for this kind of uh, potential, for zeta uh, equals to one, then the potential is the black solid curve. It's not flat, but if zeta, uh, zeta is 100, then it get the Come the blue ones, and if it's a one thousand, then it's the purple one. You see there, the the potential new the uh, region uh, is close is uh, 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 flatter, and that's the region can provide uh, uh, inflation. So here uh, the the uh, the square and the circle are the uh, for different uh, zetas. You see it can uh, still be allowed by the uh, by the uh, constraints, but in the, uh, there is a limit. If zeta equals to infinity, then this kind of potential. Infinity means uh, the, the width of the flat region gets uh, uh, get, uh, bigger and bigger. So it becomes something like this. And this is exactly the same potential as Starobix inflation. So that's what we see here. The red dots are the predictions from Starobix inflation. And uh, as as data increase, and the prediction in this model is uh, approaching the red dots. So that's why we see that uh, the Slavovics model is kind of a attractor from this model. So we can actually have a simple uh, uh, analytical uh, uh, understanding 
Uh, this is the Lagrangian we saw uh, just uh, one side before. So uh, a case uh, we have uh, this uh, no canonical connect term. So if when this level we put, uh, uh, we, we redefine the sigma fields and put zeta equals to infinity, then we just have uh, d sigma d phi equals to uh, uh, one over phi. So th this has a simple solution. And phi is the exponential function of sigma. And uh, put this into uh, this potential, then we have this uh, potential, which is exactly the same as our Rodin's model. So that's why uh, uh, they can have a, a very uh, simple analytical uh, uh, interpretation. Uh, interpretation. Okay, in general, so if the uh, the, the action is not phi square uh, r, square r, we have uh, this kind of f function, then the rest is the same. Again, we can uh, use uh, linearize the, this term, uh, basically replace the r hands with the tight square with uh, another scalar, and then uh, add some derivative term and uh, this uh, and uh, times the r hands minus chi square. So this is this. Uh, you can you can try the the five square r, which is, it just gave the same uh, same uh, same form. So again, if we, the equation of motion for chi square is chi square equals to r hand. So basically they are equivalent. So that uh, also means that in this model, uh, the r hands, the, the factor r hands now is li linear. So we can just put this factor, this is the Jordan frame. We can put the, the frame equals to one because at this level we still have the gauge symmetry. So we can have the degree of freedom to fix this one. So the potential here becomes uh, a little bit uh, uh, complicated, but again, it's determined by the function and its, and its derivatives. So, so this is the general case, but actually, even if you consider some simple form, like uh, you consider f function as a, a plus phi, uh, some cubic term, but here you have to use phi square in the uh, denominator to compensate for the dimension. But then after your writing is done, then the potential becomes very complicated. The potential here, phi square, phi square is equal to this kind of, so basically it's a very complicated function, but, uh, but we know that uh, there must be some primary space that allows for inflation because for beta equals zero, this is the same as our Rubin's model. So, so, so there must be kind of space in this case also allows for uh, inflation. Okay, uh, now I'll go to the uh, next part. I think, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, up to this level, I only consider the one scale case. I only add one scalar. But in general, you can add uh, more scalars, uh, any scale, any number. You can, uh, as I already showed, that you can rewrite the, the no minimum coupling as uh, this one plus the covariance, uh, uh, covariance kinetic term. So basically, this is the uh, general interaction. Then you can see uh, from this part, you see uh, in the covariance term, you have a, a gauge field coupled to derivative of scalar. So that's what we see here. We can rewrite, just have the linear term of the gauge field. So this is the usual uh, two derivatives, one derivatives and no derivatives. This is the interaction term. Again, I just uh, pull out the common factor and uh, uh, make the quadruple term of a double gauge field. And then make a gauge transformation. So the final action is a quadrat on the gauge field, which is a W bar and the W bar is connected with the original uh, W plus against transformation. So uh, also right here. So basically uh, this, uh, I don't know how to read this letter, but anyway, it's a function, it's a combination uh, of the scalars. So in the end, we saw there is a C2 symmetry and which means the physical uh, field of uh, W bar, it's stable. So this is uh, true for general, uh, no matter alpha, or no matter zeta is. It can be negative, it can be positive, it can be zero. So this is a very general uh, uh, statement. 
So the symmetry is, uh, 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 is always there. So that's why we, we, we think maybe a uh, dark matter candidate. But this is also true if we have an R square term. So in this part, there is no R square term, but even with R square, it's the same statement. Because we, we, again, we can unionize this uh, R square and uh, make a, a new uh, uh, combinations. The basically, the R square is contributed to once the factor six here. So nothing changes. Uh, they, they, we still have the two symmetries. So basically, uh, if we have this uh, 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 gauge symmetry, then this uh, the gauge field is uh, has the two symmetry. So this is unlike the, uh, the in the usual Higgs boson case, people call it vector dark matter, but they uh, they have to use the the uh, the spontaneous absence breaking. In that case, uh, for example, in stem model, the uh, the Higgs boson can decay to two uh, 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 gauge fields, like two photon or something. So in that case, only that case they have a Z2 symmetry. But for this one, they don't, we don't need symmetry breaking. It's always there. So the two uh, symmetries are preserved. So uh, what if we start man, then how to produce it? And I, as I show you that here, the W field only interact with the scalar. So this term, this term. This is not uh, uh, all also through the uh, gravitation interaction, because here you come to uh, uh, metric, and here you also come to metric. So basically, uh, it can couple gravitationally to all scalars. So if it has a gravitation action, then the simplest way is through uh, gravitation introduction. So the, uh, for example, from the uh, vacuum fluctuation, but this is, has been discussed a lot and actually, uh, 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 you can find uh, more detail in these two, uh, three papers. So basically, but from this uh, production mechanism, the mass for the uh, W gauge boson or the V gauge boson has to be very light. You see, if the if the inflation uh, scale is high, like 10 to 13 GV, so the mass is very high, which means its gauge carbon has to be very small, very, very small, like 10 to minus 13, uh, 30, which is extremely small. Another case is that is by gravitational scattering, which means the scatter or some other particle in the only universe uh, align it to align it to the uh, uh, to the real gauge boson through gravity. So that's also a different uh, production kind. Uh, this is uh, just a standard way. We just uh, after in Einstein frame, then we can expand the around the uh, the the, uh, the frame space. And then write the uh, so the graviton couple to the energy moment tensor for scalars, fermions, and uh, vectors and uh, massive uh, vectors. So that's a different, uh, and the, uh, the the company is suppressed by Planck scale. So this is the step way. So I don't uh, talk more. And basically, we just solve the uh, Boltzmann equation, and then also. Uh, uh, calculate the cross section for different final states or initial states. And then uh, this is aptitude for different uh, uh, final or initial states, uh, just clipped. So this is uh, some general uh, re results on the production. So basically this is the mass for the dark matter. And uh, we also here we consider scalar from a vector, but in this model for real gauge boson, we just need to consider the vector case, but they are, Almost uh, uh, kind of uh, maybe just with scale by factor uh, 1.5 or something, so it's not a big difference. And the, the mass, you see, the, the mass for the produced particle can be very heavy, like uh, 10 to minus uh, 14 GeV, if the uh, heating temperature is like uh, 10 to minus uh, 14. So basically, very heavy dark matter can be produced through gravitation reaction. Actually, in this model, there's a new contribution. Basically, it's because the, uh, the scalar interaction is uh, 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 a real gauge field through the four points interaction. Is, uh, so there's a new uh, uh, contribution. And this new contribution actually is dominated by the longitudinal mode. Sorry, this uh, type of mode and not model. So, uh, so basically, it's, uh, uh, there's no unitarity uh, breaking because you see the, this actually the cross section is suppressed at Planck scale. 
So it's safe as long as the energy scale is below Planck scale. So in this model, even if we have a massive, uh, a massive uh, vector, and uh, there is no unitarity uh, 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 problem. So, so in such a case, we also need to take this contribution into account. And then uh, we see the, uh, the blue, the blue curve uh, the correct, gives the correct abundance of uh, uh, the uh, dark matter. And if the reheating temperature is like 10 to minus 14 or, uh, or five times uh, 10 to minus 14, then the, the produced mass for the dark matter can be five times uh, uh, at this level. So, which means it can be very heavy. So, because its mass is uh, determined by the coupling times Planck scale. So, in this case, which means its coupling is 10 to minus three. So, it's Still, like smaller than than one, but it's um, it's not so fine tuned. It's ten to minus three. So anyway, so uh, this is shows that how heavy uh, real gauge boson can be produced in the only universe and can be a dark matter candidate. So uh, let me summarize. So the universe is almost uh, conformal wear or scaling or scale events during inflation. And then the, the breaking of this inflation actually deter, determines the, the, the physical observables. And we don't know how the symmetry is broken because you, you could have, still you could have a lot of models uh, that gave the still allowed uh, uh, predictions. So in Star Robbins model, we know that global scaling symmetry is broken by the uh, einstein hill action. But if we want to have a, a gate scanning symmetry, then uh, even at this uh, R square term, we, uh, this model is different from Romic's model because we have a new degree of freedom. So, but uh, the, uh, interestingly then, the limit of this model is actually uh, Romic's model. So, so basically they, they, uh, if they, these two models have some connection. And uh, in all these kind of models, the, the real gauge boson has a Z2 symmetry. And uh, it could be a dark matter candidate. And uh, I discussed the two uh, possible way to produce the, the dark matter in the only universe. One is uh, through the uh, in, uh, vacuum fluctuation. Another one is uh, through a gravitational scattering. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so questions? Hello. Yeah. I have several questions. First, uh, if we do not add uh, this uh, R square term, then, then the phi will become the longitudinal mode of the W, right? That's why yeah. you say no inflation. Yes, yes, that's correct. Yes. Yeah, if we add uh, R square term, then Effectively, we add another field. Yes, but field. because of the skill invariance, and uh, we can always f fix the phi square plus the k square equal to one. Yeah, I see. Okay, thank you. Uh, could you briefly explain the similarity and difference between your work and also the work by uh, Graham Ross and uh, Christopher Hill, Pryor, etc., on the inflation? Yeah. Please. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, and I mentioned that uh, actually this model, the, this kind of Lagrangian, so it's not, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's already discussed by several people like this group, but uh, one, uh, several difference, one is that uh, 
they, they di didn't discuss this actually the, the connecting can be negative. They want different because uh, there is no, uh, the, for negative one, negative uh, zeta and uh, positive zeta, there is no transformation can connect these two because you see these two have different uh, uh, solutions and uh, you cannot connect these two. But okay. although for phenomenology, you can have a, because, uh, because you can rescale the, the different panel, but the, the model itself is the, it's a kind of, uh, you increase the panel space. So that's mm. uh, one difference. Another difference, so in, in, in this second paper, they, use the, they also use the lambda term for inflation. So basically they use both term here, mm -hmm. for inflation. But mm -hmm. I should then even number is to zero, you have mm. a, uh, that's, then the, the third difference is that I show that, so, and because in their paper, they, they put zeta equals to one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then so you don't have the limit. Because here, in my case, zeta can be infinity. So then you can okay. have this limit. Then you have uh, the Saromix model as the, uh, the uh, attractor. Mm -hmm. And the fifth difference, the main difference is dark matter. So basically I showed that the gauge boson can be a dark matter in this model. And the mass can be as heavy as the flux scale. So that's the, uh, 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 the, another big difference. So basically, oh. I, yeah. Oh, I see. So this is the, the even uh, higher than gas scale. Mm -hmm. So basically, they also assume uh, basically the file symmetry, I mean, the same file symmetry as you did. Yes, yes. That's so because, for coordinate, yeah. coordinate does not change when only the field is changed. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly, because uh, okay. because so we are symmetry actually there's no much freedom, so it's it's fixed the term you can add. So so that's a uh, if you add R term, you can only add this one. You cannot add others the same. So yeah, um, yeah. Actually, in their in their paper, I don't see I didn't see any discuss about this gauge field because. If you look at this way, it's if it's produced, then it's stable. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, unless you have uh, some kinetic mixing with the standard case sector mm -hmm. through U1, then otherwise it's become a problem because if you have a, in the only years in the only years, if the temperature is high, then it can be produced. Then mm -hmm. you may have uh, this over uh, produce over abundance. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, any other questions or comments? I have uh, some back up slides about uh, uh, conform up for tractor. If uh, you want, I can just Talk a little bit. Yes, okay. please. Yes. Okay. This is uh, actually it's uh, another work. Uh, for example, uh, uh, th this is the conformal alpha tractor proposed by uh, Karosh and Ninde. So you see, this is uh, uh, both uh, scan events, conformal events, or, or, or any real events. But in this model, they have they don't have a real gauge field. So you see, this is uh, this combination is events. And uh, one of, the, excuse me, in this case, one of the scalar is a ghost. I yes, mean, one, yes, uh, yeah, but uh, but you know that uh, one degree of freedom is uh, is uh, uh, you because you have a gauge, uh, you can local symmetry. So one is you can fix fix it, fix to constant. So so that's uh, you, because you have uh, this uh, uh, local symmetry, you can fix phi square minus chi square equals to one. Then in the end, only one scale degree of freedom is kept, which we just call theta. So, but they have to be here, I have to be minus. So that's why you see, it, because you have a uh, wrong character, so it's a ghost. But actually once you fix gauge, and for the physical degree of freedom theta, it's uh, just as normal scalar. 
So, so, so the question is why you have an opposite sign. And the next question is why the potential also has this kind of form. So because it, it has to be proportional to the uh, phi square minus chi square such kind of thing. And then it's a kind of a, a function of the ratio. So, uh, so in their paper, they mentioned they have a, a approximate global SO11 symmetry because of this term, this term, and the uh, potential, this part potential has SO11. Only this part breaks. So that's their model. So, so since I'm studying real gauge fields, then I, I just say what happens if I add this gauge symmetry. So that's what uh, we do. So this part is the same, but we uh, put in a uh, general, uh, just uh, we put alpha, beta, because in some cases, alpha, beta can be zero. So we just want to study uh, as general as possible. But then we added this kinetic term, because in their model, without a uh, gauge uh, field, they cannot add other kinetic term. So, but here, if we have gauge field, then we can add this kind of covariance uh, this uh, 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 term. So basically two terms for the two scatters. But here I pass, uh, I use plus here because uh, as I will show you, the beta can be minus one uh, plus one both okay. So that's the difference uh, and I will show you. Once we end the gate fields, then the, there's a big difference. So basically we... The term with the derivative phi in the first line, well, yeah. in the first line, yeah. Whether yeah. this term respect this uh, field symmetry? Yeah, they, uh, these two terms respect the, the symmetry. Oh, the, this oh. combination, this combination, this one, this one, this one, each term, each term respect the symmetry. I see, I see. Okay, okay. So just like this one. So uh, the terms, the two terms in the brackets respective symmetry yeah okay so once we do then we see we can do any we can put uh, we have the symmetry so we can put phi square equals to one and for example you, we put alpha equals to one because you can rescale as long as it's not zero then we can rescale phi to put alpha equals to one and in other cases the beta can be plus and minus one. So in such a case, it has this kind of uh, a form. Basically, Einstein frame is a, uh, uh, is a uh, uh, Einstein gravity plus a scalar with such kind of potential. And then we have a gauge field coupled to the uh, scalar field. So they, 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 they have a, a, a field dependent mass. So which means in such a case, beta can be minus or plus. Then we don't need the uh, so here, you, then you can have a plus. So that's the one benefit from uh, uh, this modification once you end the gauge um, current term. But in general, if R beta is not uh, one or plus minus one, then what we can have? So that's the, the, uh, uh, the possible choice, the possible solutions. If alpha equals to one, then beta can be something like equals to zero, or equals to minus one, or plus one, or minus one, something else. So basically, this is the, the possible solution, uh, possible analytical solutions. In other form, you don't have the analytical solution. So the, the conformal alpha attractor is, is corresponding to this case, like Ninde and the Crush uh, discussed. So you see the the, 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 the field is connected with the physical fields theta uh, used uh, by hyperbolic function. But if beta equals to a plus one, then we have this form. It's a trigonometric uh, function. In this case, you have SO2 symmetry, which means that you can just add a complex scalar and a couple to the uh, rich, uh, rich scalar. So the, in such a case, it's a uh, you have a disconnection. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, the, 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 you can make these two scalar uh, just as a, a components of one complex scalar. 
And uh, in, in the paper, we actually uh, talked about uh, some uh, illustration with S202. Uh, we, we also had this F function. The F function is a, a poloni uh, polynomial function of the uh, two scalar fields, but it can be actually uh, change if you change the physical field, then it becomes cosine. As I mentioned that here, once you have tangent theta, then uh, one over one plus x, x actually is tangent theta, then you have cosine theta. So this is uh, can actually very um, interesting because uh, usually when we talk about the natural inflation, we start from uh, some uh, 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 the cosine kind of function. But here, if you start from uh, polynomial, uh, polo, polo, nominal function you have uh, this cosine. So uh, it depends on the n. If n equals to one, this is the same as natural inflation, but usually it's, uh, I think it's already uh, excluded. Uh, if n equals two, uh, it's also marginal, but uh, I didn't show here. Uh, if n equals uh, larger than three, then it's still allowed by the experiment. So yeah, that's uh, just one kind of model that uh, we can do what the uh, yeah, okay, that's all. Uh, I have one question. So here in this form, <clears throat> yeah. why, do you, why do you assume one over n type power in the... Uh, that's uh, because uh, if n equals to one, then it's just the uh, cosine theta. <coughs> this is mm. the same as the usual natural inflation. But mm. in that model, it's already excluded by the experiment. So, we put one of n is just increase n act make the uh, potential flat, then you can have a, a viable inflation model. So this is uh, actually for phenomenology study. Okay, yeah. just just to make the potential flatter. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, so another questions or? I can see any. This is Hi. Hi. I'm Tan. Hi. It's nice. Nice to see you again online. I, yeah, it's very nice talk. Uh, I, in, 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 the, in the first part of your talk, yeah. I have a question on Oscar. Um, okay. I, as, I, as far as I understood, uh, you are introducing Oscar term in a bivariant way right yes you have a i had a quantity yes and then you have a uh, you went through the ninth step to realize uh, i had a square yeah uh, but in the i'm just uh, uh, reading your paper about this and then uh if you write i had to scale explicitly yeah. in terms of buyer Gauge field, you have a linear term in bio gauge field, uh, yes. but you don't see it uh, in the dual version of R yeah. here anymore. So, yeah. can you comment on this? Because you also kind of you have a bi photon story might be independent. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I get your question uh, uh, completely. Yeah. You, you... I mean, in your in your Lagrangian. Yeah, uh, I'll head scale. Yes, this one. Uh, I'll head scale term before dualizing. Uh, uh, what? If you Dual before dualized uh, with the chi field. Chi field, this way. Uh, right. In the first Lagrangian. Okay. I'm talking about the first Lagrangian with the I'll head square. Yeah. And then if you uh, write, if you uh, expand I'll head square. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the bio photon, bio photon, yes, you have a linear term in bio photon, and I mean the yes, 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 that's correct, yes, yeah, yes. and then uh, if you think of scalar vector, mm. three tensor scalar vector theories, yeah, yeah, scalar general, general, yeah, modified Einstein gravity, uh, but kind of you are dualizing in a uh, uh, in a, in a nice way. In order yeah. to 
uh, uh, kind of get rid of the dangerous yeah. talk. Uh, so, so well. yes, and now I get your question. Yeah, so you're asking if I just write us head square explicitly and the so R and the W gauge yeah, boson yeah. and scale, okay. and then I get uh, the linear term on um, uh, wheel gauge fields and the cubic term on wheel gauge field and the uh, cortic term on uh, wheel gauge. Yeah, field. yeah, yeah. So you just, yeah. Uh, we, Einstein ten, sorry, a tensor vector uh, yeah, without yeah. additional scalar. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, so I, I, and that level actually, I just say, it, probably you, when, even if in that uh, basis, if you expand on the minima, then probably you have uh, this kind of uh, 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 mixing term, then you have to redefine the fields. Mm. So just like uh, this kind of simple case. So, mm. but eventually the physical degree fr freedom are the same, but that way probably is more complicated because you, you have a quadratic term, uh, and yeah. also the the uh, the the two dual terms and a cubic term, yeah. so yeah, I didn't I didn't do that because I know this way, so I didn't try that way. Yeah, yeah. but uh, my guess is that if you do that way, and, uh, uh, and you do you expand around the uh, Minkowski space backgrounds, then yeah. you will see mixing term and the mixed term and also high dual term. In that case. Yeah. You probably need to redefine the fields, and this uh -huh. probably equivalent to this case. Yeah, because uh, this is kind of I think that this is correct uh, to redefine uh, our head square in terms of scalar field. Yeah, but it's kind of generalized uh, uh, version of it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Because in the Einstein gravity, you have a metric only, but here you have a white photon uh, yeah. included in our our head quantity. Yeah. So just I'm wondering if uh, you have a uh, better picture uh, in the different bases. So it's yeah. uh, about this uh, slide. Uh, I have one question. Phi scale, chi scale is also phi invariant, right? Yes. But phi, um, yes. Phi square, and chi but square. You, you do, but you don't include that. So it uh, mm. does not make a big difference. Uh, because, for example, in this and this level, there is no mm. chi square here, so you cannot yeah. add chi square phi square. No, no, in the second yeah. line. Yeah, in the second line, you cannot add because when you can, when you solve the equation of motion for chi square, mm. if you add chi square phi square, then mm. you don't get this relation. Then this Lagrangian is not equivalent to this one. So, mm. so basically, you cannot uh, at this level you cannot add. Uh, but if you have new scalars, then you can add. For example, the Marty scale case, mm -hmm. so that's possible. But uh, mm -hmm. for this case, because chi square is a uh, is kind of from R square, so so it's, the form is fixed. <coughs> so this this scalar field phi is not the Higgs field, right? It's the no, it's not. Term, right? Yeah, it's not the Higgs field. So can is it possible to have a Higgs in uh, inflation in this context? Uh, in such a case, uh, uh, Higgs field can have, but, uh, but uh, because, it, uh, for, for example, uh, Higgs, inf uh, Higgs can be put in this uh, uh, framework, but I, I am not sure it can be responsible for the inflation, because if you see this mm -hmm. part, you see that uh, the phi square, the minima for phi square is equal to one, which mm. means the wave is mm. equal to Planck scale. So it cannot be the Higgs field. So mm. that's, uh, at, at uh, least not be the, the uh, standard Higgs. So okay, yeah. The minimum, yeah, is determined by the yeah, vacuum expectation value. Yeah. Will be dominated by this additional scalar. Yeah. Uh, maybe just the generalizing, yeah. Just, but uh, yeah, phi is not the Higgs field itself. Yeah. But in principle, you can generalize it on uh, you know a wide invariant way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, couple sure, sure. Higgs field to R hat, such that you have uh, more 
general isometry. You have a kind of a compact isometry for uh, scalar yeah. field, for two scalar field system. Ah, uh, you have a general Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, yes, that's uh, what, what <laughs> we mentioned in the, in, in the paper, actually. Yeah, we, uh, we, yes. we, we already updated to, actually, this paper was uh, accepted by Free Letter B uh, last week. So, uh, uh, probably, okay. yeah. We need, yeah, we added some discussion about Higgs field. So, uh, by the way, uh, ah, this is this bi photon. Ah, this is bi photon. The, the bi photon is dark metal. Yeah. So, you have to forbidden a gauge connecting mixing. Yes, yes. With a standard model, hypercharge somehow, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the, I, I was, yeah, I was trying to uh, make bi photon. To be dark matter, even in the presence of mm -hmm. the gauge connecting mixing, mm. somehow a different way, but uh, it's not the usual gauge connecting mixing. But the, the parity you can you can define somehow uh, differently. But I didn't uh, because the, this bipotent is very strange it, it, uh, because of a different way. Uh, mm -hmm. That it appears in the covariant derivative. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because you said that you have a covariant derivative of five field, mm -hmm. which has only, I think, the, you have a real part only. Yeah. Modified. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Covariant derivative, you have a five photon as a real, real part. Yeah. So, so you don't so that's have. Why. Um, yeah. yeah no. Yes, it's, yes. it's different, yeah. But I didn't, uh, I start uh, thinking about how to make sense of uh, non-zero gauge connecting mixing uh, mm. for the biphoton and then how to generate it. Uh, so in the presence of uh, non-zero uh, charges mm -hmm. uh, under the by gauge transformation. So if you have a, non-zero hypercharge on one hand and non-zero uh, biocharge on the other hand and you can uh, put some charged particle in the, running the loop then to mm -hmm. see what is generated between mm -hmm. the biophoton and hypercharge so uh, but the, I didn't I didn't uh, complete the calculations mm -hmm. but the, it, it's very weird so uh, mm -hmm. it will be interesting uh, to see uh, if there's some, uh, yeah, how to forbid, or if there's some interesting interaction, mm -hmm. then uh, maybe it might be uh, another way mm -hmm. to couple the biphoton to st stand on with the particle. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and as far as I uh, understand this character, mm. either is zero from if, if it's zero, then you cannot yeah. generate this way mm. I, oh yeah. it's uh, just there and then uh, it has mixing so yeah. Yeah, i don't think uh, you can generate by loop but this is probably unlike the usual gauge field uh, case yeah. yeah yeah so that's uh yeah so yeah i, I forgot but uh less like like, like, like a ff dual term instead of ff ff like, yeah ff f to f dual like a f for hypercharge an F dual mm. for five photon. But uh, that but has, I, yeah. but I think that's uh, for U1, it's kind of a surface term. That's a FF dual. FF dual. For, for U1, it's a series, a surface term. For U1? Yeah, if both FF are U1. Oh, mm. oh, just uh, the abelian case, then it's a surface term. It's, uh, yeah, 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 for the abelian. Maybe you are right. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Uh, we are... oh, any questions or comments? Just short question or I think if not, we we'll stop here. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. B